There is one question that I always get asked that is a mouthful to answer. And that question is, where is your home? Or where are you from? And it's not the question that you would think that one would have issues with or that your mind would be perplexed by. Some of us in this world have not grown up in one spot for most of our lives or one town or in the case of America, one state. Some of us have spent time moving around. Some of us have moved multiple times. And sometimes if you're like me, you've moved across continents. So my name is David Sager. This project is titled, What is Home? I started this project in hopes that I could reclaim what I had lost, a sense of belonging. Like a puzzle piece that fits into a particular spot, but is for the wrong puzzle, I struggle with belonging. I don't feel like I belong anywhere. And that started at a young age. So let's get you caught up to speed. So for me, I've grown up in multiple different locations. So, as you can see here, we've got born in Florida, and then we went to Moscow, Russia when I was really little. I was about four when we moved, and we came back to the United States when I was 12. And then all those other locations are just places that I've been since 12 years old. So let's introduce a couple of the key phrases that are gonna be important in this series. So not only are we going to look at what is home, we're also going to look at where is home to you based on that question. And then finally, we're going to look at ways to be a community with refugees, with TCKs and military kids, with blended families. The rise of this is extremely important for you to understand because you will interact with somebody who feels like they never belong anywhere. TCKs are often known as children of the world. So you and I need to know how to love these people, how to interact with them, how to just like be friendly, how to live in their sorrow and help them build communities and build roots and understand that, yes, you can be a nomad. Yes, things can be tough, but you still have people who love you and care about you. That's what's important. Anyways, we're going to talk more in the next video, but I also highly encourage you guys to listen to the podcasts that go along with this series and read the articles. Everything that you go through will help you piece together a little bit of my story and how I started putting back together a sense of belonging. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Thank you.